one of these teams might be able to hold that trophy tomorrow. In the orange, we got Space Station Gaming. In the blue, version one. Let's get down to the Bryce of Skybox with James, Jorby, and Corelli. If you wanted hard-nosed, hard-hitting Rocket League, you tuned into the right match, and you're sitting in the right seat. It's a matchup that's quickly turned into the newest American classic, version one, who had fans literally walk, march into the Dickies Arena and Space Station Gaming. Their fans are up there loud. They're ready to get into this series. They marched down here, but did you see the army that Space Station Gaming has in the stands? This is going to be a battle here on the pitch. Game one, let's get it going. Ever since Arsenal got sick in the wild card, qualified, ran off to rest up until Friday. Space Station have been on a mission. They made quick work of Endpoint yesterday, and now today, version one stands in their way. With all the momentum, it feels like it's in Space Station's favor. Second time here for Space Station at the World Championship. Arsenal, the only remaining player from that roster, now bringing Rettles and Daniel. See what type of magic they could do here against version one. Version 1, they're used to being, or used to having to play against the crowd. And as Thomas said many times, they feed off of that. It doesn't bother them. But as far as Version 1 are concerned, they kind of have to prove it to everybody that they can still compete after what happened to them against BDS. And also what happened to them against Space Station, not only in the wild card where they fell, but also at the Winter Major where Space Station Gaming had their number as well. Space Station Gaming is the favorite in this matchup. They've had version one's number, and a lot of that, Corelli, seems to be down to Beast Mode needing to bring offense for version one's game. They'll have a hope at taking SSG down. You look at the version one roster, you know what you got in Torment defensively, but it's Beast Mode. You look towards the offense when he's on. Version one is winning series, but when he's off, version one, not as successful. These are two teams that demo more than any other team in North America, really any other team in the world. We already see one coming out, and coming out, leaves it open. There he is! Oh, oh, oh. That's the man you want going for version one, and he's here to break the ice early on. And Torment goes for the immediate demo, and that was right after Calm got a demo as well, and Beast Mode is the player that we highlighted. When he's scoring, that spells good news for version one, but against Space Station, Beast Mode has been struggling, perhaps that could ignite it. Knowing Space Station feed off that crowd energy, if they can keep the crowd quiet early, start to build those stacks against Space Station as they get the next clear. And you gotta think about the personalities on this team. A guy like Kong, I think he likes when the crowd's against him. It feeds off oh! of him and Beast Mode again strikes through for version one. Oh, Daniel trying to clear it out. You saw the bump and temp, but Beast Mode is too in the entire series versus Space Station Gaming last time these two squared up. And he's gotten so much criticism coming into the World Championship for how he's played in front of a crowd because he hasn't had the best performances. But wildcard, he had those performances. Now, here on this stage where the crowd is so heavily against them, he gets the first two goals. That's massive. I think he's really putting the questions to bed here. Already getting those first two goals for version one. Space Station, not the start they wanted, and certainly not how they wanted to start it against a guy like Beast Mode. They've got to work themselves back into game one here. Space Station looking for a way out. Nice little pinch out, but Beast Mode popping the clear out for version one. It was almost a dead ball, but a great double touch in front. Leaves Beast Mode hanging and Calm coming in to help out. They weren't able to take away possession. Got a lot of boost here for Daniel. Taking his time against version one's defense. One of the best defenses in the world. We saw that the true effect during wildcard. Saw it in the spring major as well. Again, we've highlighted Torment many times before. And for version one, been a crucial part of their defense, especially as that last man been clutched so many times for them. Under two minutes to go here in game one. Space Station still held scoreless. Not really able to generate any offense either. Beast mode putting it across. More pressure for version one. Daniel, if he can get this 50, might put some pressure. Daniel, shot denied, forced two up. Torment, actually, it's Kong who gets back to that ball, bailing version one out. Torment credited with the save. <laughs> you know, Torment 
Yeah, it's such a great series. Oh, oh, oh no, it oh. goes in! The pinch! Daniel zooms in, and I, I was wondering if that was gonna roll up the post. Perfectly goes in. Oh, and Daniel with that challenge right off the post, and you could see Kong coming up to try and get involved in the play, but he was just too slow to catch up. Space Station, they cut the lead at half. They're finally on the board. And of course, it's Daniel, the young Space Station superstar. But Arsenal, I think it's bumped off the play on the attempted reset. That's all it needed for Space Station to switch momentum. And that is good for Space Station that Daniel is being activated. Oh, hold on, a demo! Uh -oh. Oh, beast Mode! Beast Mode with a hat trick! <laughs> That's three, baby! One, two, three for Beast Mode! And version oh. one, marching to a game one victory! It comes down to throwing Space Station into the scrapyard. All three, actually no, Beast Mode just had a sick angle on one of them, but two of them, massive demos. One from Torment, one from Calm, version one. Setting the tone here in game one. And that was really the matchup that we were going to keep our eyes on. Arsenal and Calm, seeing how much bumps and demos come into play. We saw Arsenal with so many key bumps, and now he's going for a shot. But that one's going to be denied. So far, the aggressive game has been paying off for version one. Daniel got the 50. Arsenal against Calm, went for the hard touch. Pops right back to Rettles. Space Station testing that version one defense. Pulling defenders up as they can. Starting to run out the clock, version one, around the corner. And it keeps Space Station out. Lots of pass right over to Calm. And version one, oh, waste more time. And then you saw that bump attempt streaking in. Didn't result in much of an offensive chance, but it is melting time off the clock. 20 seconds left. Space Station looking for anything, but right now, version <laughs> one, just holding, waste oh. of time. Calm's getting faked off the sidewall, and Space Station have nothing to show for it. Nice little dive in front. Crunch time for Space Station, but the tone has been set. The song has started. <laughs> Version one come out roaring with a beast mode hat trick to win game one. This is the dream start for version one. We've had our criticisms of beast mode. We know that version one lives and dies with how he plays his offense. And this is it. A three goals put away by beast mode. Three for three on his shooting. That's how you want to start things off with a hat trick. And such a great start. And we were really keeping our eyes on Daniel. We saw Daniel get that goal, start to get involved. And he really is such a huge part of the offense for Space Station. We've seen him have the ability to solo play a against version one. We even saw it in wildcard, game two, overtime winner. He had the double tap in the corner that set himself up for an immediate shot, put it lower corner, he won that game for him. Daniel versus Beast Mode, that is a matchup I'm looking at. Right now, Beast Mode came out hot. That's something we have not seen from version one on the main stage. And we know from listening to Calm and all the interviews we've had with him that this team are probably one of the hardest prepping teams in Rocket League, they're always talking about how they're all together in their hotel rooms, watching Vaughn, talking about play, and knowing their record, their recent record against Space Station, how it hasn't gone that well, you know that they were prepping on the Vods. They are one of the hardest working teams yeah. with Fireburner as their coach. There was no way they weren't gonna get on that stage and be completely prepared. To be fair, the same thing could be said about Space Station as well. You, If you talk to Chrome at any point in any matchup, he knows exactly how to beat them. You talk, how how is Space Station going to do this matchup? He will break it down to you player by player. Both these teams have coaches that have great leadership and great game knowledge, both ex-pros. And that, I think, really transcends into the team. 100%. They, they not only work hard, but they play hard out on the field. We saw the demos come in. You can tell that these two, they recognize the significance of this game. This is it. This is for the final ticket to Championship Sunday. Version 1, they don't have the best record against Space Station as of late, but this is when it matters. Throw everything else out the window. This is what matters. This series. And both of these teams have had success in London, in the Winter Major. They've made it far in those tournaments, but only one of them gets to be top eight yeah. this time. And it's crazy for both of these teams because you could argue top eight for either of them with how they played this season. You feel like this matchup coming a bit premature with the way these teams have been playing like you've been alluding to. And as we take a bit of an extra time out here, we were looking at Space Station. You look at a guy like Arsenal, not only in the demolitions category and the physical gameplay, but also stepping up. He had crucial clutch zero second goals coming out from him in Space Station that kept them in the wild card and got them to this point. 
And in game one, so far, it's been a very subdued effort from Space Station. Tom, what? I'm taking a nap, bro. <laughs> I think it, he's meditating. Yeah. Definitely meditating. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, 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 he's like, oh, wait, what? are we playing a game? What? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Torment's like, yeah, thanks for waking up, dude. I'm still focused. <laughs> yeah. And he's and a shout guy. out to the, I just want to say, shout out to all the fans in the stadium. We've been getting shots to you guys all weekend. You're the best fans in esports, and there's no competition at all. I just want fun for Rocket League in general. The fans, make some noise real quick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you're rooting for Space Station, let me hear you make some noise. Game two underway. See if Space Station comes up with anything. A very slow start from them, and really, other than the Daniel kind of pinch goal there, didn't see much for them on the offensive front. It was all version one, it was all beast mode. And a lot of calm, too. I mean, we even saw Torment getting involved with those demos downfield. Gretels, you already see him targeting beast mode, and beast mode and Torment were the two targets for demos the last time these two matched up, so. Look for that. Rettle's already finding his mark. See if it does enough to make him uncomfortable. But you still have to contend when you get to that blue half. Torment and Calm, both of them playing excellent defense over the last two weeks. That pushed across the base station with initial pressure. Backboard defended for now. Daniel just being, having a presence, picking up those pads. Rettles, full tank, wait, oh. he's not, and barely gets it off the post, waiting for Beast Mode. You see him kind of hang behind that ball, you get a little scared if you're on the Space Station side. Version 1 still looking and hunting here on the Space Station side. Tough for Space Station to break out with some possession, but maybe this one finds the back wall. Rettles is there to put a shot on, but again, Version 1 poking it away. Daniel with a second touch again. Version 1 denying. That had to be a decent touch for Daniel, because he was the last man back, both Rettles and Arsenal. We're on the blue back wall. Daniel doing enough to buy time. Rettles now demoing Torment. They got outboxed in game number one. I don't think Space Station registered much in the physical game, this time leading it in the first two minutes. Rettles gets punched off the ball. Torment will take his time. He's got a full tank. A little bit of time to work through this through two Space Station players. Calm gonna take it upfield. Rettles is there to deny version one's attack. Daniel, one touch, two commit. Double commit. Oh. gets there in time and puts it away for Beast Mode. Space Station looking more and more threatening in the solo plays. Version one able to break out though. Great clears from them to just deny. Second chance is Beast Mode wants the left side. It's a bit wide. Cool. Carrying position for a second. Space Station find a way to worm out of defense. Rettles just getting back to that touch. The first touches haven't been the cleanliest from Space Station, but the follow-ups have been good enough to prevent version one from putting them right on their back wall and pressuring them out. And you really are seeing Space Station implement the most annoying play style that everyone hates playing against. Space Station, very notorious in North America and now internationally with slowing down the play and making it a lot harder for you to get clean touches. And that's something that version one does as well. Even talking with Calm, he'll tell you, me and <laughs> us at Space Station, we're almost the same team with how we like to play. And that's what makes this matchup fun to watch, but also very difficult for both sides. You really don't know who's gonna come out on top. It's quiet now on the pitch and in the stadium. Everyone waiting to see what happens. But here comes Beast Boat, no boost. Reynolds puts it up in front of the box. Daniel comes to support. Drop down, Rettles and Arsenal go for the pinch. Good enough, but Beast Mode sends it right back. Very conservative effort between both teams here. Nobody wanting to overcommit and move up their last man too far. Arsenal might have a chance here, but it's cut away. Space Station trying to ramp up the offense, and Beast Mode there to slow things down. We're starting to see Rettles get those demos on Torment last back. We saw Arsenal also upfield quite far, relying on Daniel to be able to get the boom out. You can see Space Station trying different strategies. Nothing quite working though. The Beast Mode gets deleted. Wow. Calm can't win the 50 either. It's always looking threatening. Beast Mode on the spawn. 
Torment looking on the backboard, whether for a player or the ball. He has to pull off that comment in front of the box. Oh, miss, no touch. Beast mode with control, pops it over one. Car with Torment support. Reset, but the ball gets away from him. There's a demo. The demo. Nobody from version one ready for it, but the ball is given okay. away. Pass in front. Pass He's back. In front. Whoa! Ball saved. The passing plays combining there for version one. Still fruitless as we sit tied, less than 40 to go. But that offense slowly ramping up. And maybe now Space Station trying to go back the other way. Arsenal off the corner. Rettles hard fake, but version one didn't bite. The backboard goes for free for beast mode. No boost, just let it fly. No corner boost for him either. Space Station get out, but the transition's looking scary from version one. Space Station the other way. Oh, the show just missed the angle. Beast Mode pops it over. If he can get back to it with Nick Boost. Oh, 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 Beast Mode! He's there once again for version one. How many times have we talk, talked about him to step up for version one? <laughs> Backward into the back of the net. Four seconds to play. Sometimes you gotta use all your gears, even reverse, getting backwards on that one. A late goal again from Beast Mode. No time. Space Station denied. And version one to nothing. And we are starting to see Beast Mode establish a reputation as a late goal scorer in critical games. We saw him do this in London at zero seconds. We also saw him do it against NRG earlier from the corner with one second left. Beast Mode is coming up clutch. In those series, he wasn't dazzling everybody throughout the series, but he was being a reliable late goal scorer. Now we're seeing the complete package out of Beast Mode offensively. And you see what that consistency brings for version one, especially in a game like this one against Space Station, who brings the, the slows the play down, brings that ball down. It's so frustrating to play against them, to just play at their pace. And now Space Station looking to take a timeout after game two, a very frustrating game two to give up. Beast mode coming up at the end, and it felt like Space Station, they had a couple of chances down the way, but like they never really built pressure on version one's half. It was always a booming clear, and then they didn't really like get out, out boxed or anything. They weren't getting demoed, but they just couldn't get control of the ball, James. They, they were trying. You saw him trying. You saw the, the play, Reddles going up field. We saw him demo Torment last back multiple times, but the timing just wasn't right. A lot of times you want to demo right as you're about to get that big boom downfield so that you can get the shot before the respawning player can get back into the action. We saw them trying that. We saw Daniel trying to get touches up into the air, but everything was getting shut down from version one. And really, you wonder what SSG's gonna try to make in terms of adjustments after this timeout. Well, if you ask me, you're looking at, you need more offense from your offensive players. Guys like Arsenal, of course, Daniel is the biggest name to think about because I think Reddles is doing his job quite well. You mentioned the physical gameplay coming out from, that's his job, that's been his job on Space Station Gaming is taking out that last man. He's done that so many times here against version one so far, but he has no follow-up from his teammates. And, and the other thing, Pirelli, and you're right, Reynolds is doing his job, and one of the jobs that you expect to see is Reynolds making players miss. That's, he's one of the best players in the world at making players miss, taking two players out of the game. He'll fake the first person, he'll either get a really good 50 or just leave the ball, get a bump. He takes players out of the game and leaves opportunities for Rettles and for Daniel, and we haven't really seen that. There, there were even two attempts near the end of the game where he did try to fake in front of the box or, or, and also in the corner, and they just didn't, didn't buy it. it. They, they, they hopped on it right away. So Space Station, they have to adjust something because Beast Mode is tearing them apart right and again. You know, I asked what type of magic version one's going to get here, and a goal like that that we saw from Beast Mode sometimes, he's just a bit different, and it's going to drop for players like Beast Mode. Into game three we go. Shot over, but way wide. Arsenal slowing things down at the start. It was a good recovery there from Daniel to get back to the ball. Can they actually put pressure in front of the box? Space Station ball, Arsenal off the ceiling. There's enough there. They're all oh, out. Version one around, oh. but oh my goodness, diving back was calm. Space Station were hoping Comp would miss touch that ball. Beast Mode pushing it out. Oh, he missed. Ah, now Beast Mode with the big miss, and Torment has to make the save off the corner. Space Station pressing the version one side, and again, the defensive rock of Torment has to oh. come up big. Got the read on the ceiling, but it's taken away by version one. Oh, Torment barely got his fingertips on that ball, now leading the charge. Torment, oh! oh! It's 
right, Tommy! How does he find that every single time? He's got his name on it. You might as well trademark it, Torment. Riddle's so close to getting the touch there as well, but he's rumbling and stumbling down the sideline. Torment makes it happen for version one. And this is a different version one than we've seen line up against Space Station. There is something Jorby, magical about how version one came out with their game plan, getting beast mode activated early. And that first goal after the timeout, will we see another one? They're certainly completely different since their series against BDS version one. On oh, something else oh, right now. Oh, the shot denied! Whoa. What a pitch! Oh, oh, Heading the other oh, way, just oh, wide. Oh. Space Station chasing it down, but Beast Mode's there first. Could be a chance for Space Station. Arsenal one, two, in front of the box, taken away. That was some boom boom action there. You saw this game <laughs> right into the pinch. That might have been the quickest counter in RLCS history with that pinch. And now Rettles, he wants more of version one. Boost to work with. Flip reset Ooh. inbound for. Oh. Oh. Reynolds, a huge goal, a goal you'd expect out of Daniel, yep. but Reynolds is the one who makes it happen. And a great execution there from Reynolds, keeping his boost and staying behind that ball. Now version one, they want to go back the other way very quickly here. Beast mode, a bit of boost to work with. Can he get oh. this touch? Oh. Beast mode off the crossbar and Daniel there to turn it away. Confidence on the read there from beast mode. The pinch doesn't work out for Space Station this time. Come. Nothing there for him. Now Reynolds, he's got a lead blocker. He's facing him. Arsenal it's open! Open! Knock, knock! It's Reynolds! And he's coming through. Arsenal taking out the last man. <laughs> facing him into the net. And Space Station into the lead. You even saw Beast Mode pre-jump like Arsenal was going to come under and demo him. And he actually turned around to try to wrap around. Arsenal saw the whole thing unfolding before him. That is the play that you expect Space Station to make, and it couldn't have come at a better time for SSG. While it looked like things were going to continue version one's way, all of a sudden, Space Station take their first lead of the series. Now popping it up is Torment, trying to bump one out of the way. And version one got in the tank here. No touch there for Calm Beast Mode. Has to protect the retreat for version one. Now you look back on the version one side. You need a guy like Beast Mode to step Ooh. up here as this one comes across the box. Only down a goal. We've got two minutes left to play, but Space Station getting a lot more momentum here. Oh. Fury as Reynolds again threatening the net and can't hold on to it. Reynolds looking solid so far. A quick pass over to Arsenal. Oh, oh, he oh. gets it in! Oh. Oh. right now. I did not even expect Arsenal to go for net. Hits far post in that situation. We saw him be the lead blocker. We saw Arsenal, or Reynolds rather, get that crazy flip where he's hit bump goal. This is offense from Space Station that it's going to require if you're looking for that World Championship title. They're playing like they want to win it all. <laughs> what, a, what a turnaround from a timeout here for Space Station. For and real. they're still coming. Everyone pressed up, though, as this one's locked towards the net. And version one have no answer at the moment. A beast mode with control. And the reset. Beast mode, no chance. Daniel's there for the stop. But could be a pressure building moment for version one. Daniel gets in the way. Expended the tank to do it. Beast mode protecting the midfield post. Maybe getting another push? No. There's Space Station. What a pass in front. Shot over to the right. Saved. Space Station, everything is working for them right now. Everyone's on the same page with the passing. And version one now trying to threaten that one on the left side, turned away by Arsenal. Beast Mode taps it back down to Calm. Torment only 27 in midfield. Demo for Reynolds on a Torment. And version one pushed the ball back to the orange. Version one have a chance to get things set up, to start the clock. They don't have a lot of it left. Oh, and a side flip from Calm. 
unless he just recognized that he was going to give that away. Precious time ticking away. Calm. Has a flick over to Beast Mode. It's cut out by Daniel, but still Beast Mode up again. Doesn't get the touch, but a goal line save from Arsenal. Space Station denying version one again. Only 10 seconds now. They need time. It's pushed up by Space Station. Choose more time off the clock. And Space Station stop the train. In game number three, the timeout works now. And we got a ball game, gentlemen. What a spectacular look from Space Station here in game three. A different type of team after that type of timeout. They looked a lot stronger on offense. They cleaned up the defense, and most importantly, they shut down Beast Mode 0 for 5 in his shots here. And version 1 could only put up a single goal. And I, I mean, we were saying, where's the offense? And it come, came from the, the place I didn't really expect. I was expecting Daniel to maybe be more activated, more involved in the offense for Space Station. But it all started with that crazy shot from Reynolds, the flip reset bump. That's the most scary part about Space Station. They haven't even unlocked their secret weapon in Daniel. <laughs> it's really just Arsenal and Dan or Arsenal and Reynolds. And again, Daniel's not playing poorly here. No, they're, but they're just basically holding off the, the horde until, you know, you look to the east. Right. Daniel's there coming down on horseback to help you win the series. But even Arsenal in this, uh, in this game, that play, it was a critical play where he has to connect on this demo with Beast Mode. Beast Mode knows that Arsenal is on his trail. He tries to get away from him and just couldn't. And that is where Space Station succeeds, is when people know they're coming and it just doesn't matter. A three-headed monster in version one. I'm feeling all three heads right now. While Daniel might not have been doing the most damage, that's what you're up against with a team like Space Station Gaming. Game four underway. Version one. They can start out on the right wheel with a beast mode goal like they did in the first two games. And oh, maybe the they got but the big bump. It's and a big goal! Daniel gets one! Daniel's there to put it home, but it's the physical play again from Space Station that's paying off. Arsenal bumps the last man off the back wall, and Daniel's there to finish the job. It, you know, it, beast mode is going to have nightmares of Arsenal bumping him. It has just <laughs> been his professional career. You can hear him yelling in his head, you can't guard me. Daniel launches the ball downfield off the corner. Now it's version one not to find a way to stop the Space Station momentum. You can't avoid Arsenal on the bump or the demo. What do you do? Beast Mode Got space. underneath. Very interesting carry there from Beast Mode. Almost worked out on the 50. You can definitely tell Beast Mode was playing the 50, hoping for a rebound opportunity out in front of net. Down the corner for Space Station, avoiding version one attackers. They come straight out for Calm. Rips it high. Oh, forcing Space Station to have to make that read, but they do. And that was a great read from Reynolds yeah. getting up high. And then the bump! The net is vulnerable, but Reynolds is playing keep away all by himself. And that attack matured so quickly. Space Station just couldn't get down the field fast enough to follow up. Great dunks coming out from Space Station. Version one still struggling to find the back of the net. Nice little move from Daniel. You can't give Daniel that much space. Dangerous things happen when he gets control of the ball. Arsenal pops it up to the side. Version 1, working on limited boost right now. Torment on small pad duty. Calm, out of boost. Beast mode, out of boost. Torment throws it, and a pass. It's deep, but Daniel playing a little far back on the play. Forces Beast Mode to come out on the touch. It gets by two defenders of version one. Torment up again. Arsenal gets the touch in front of the box. Another clear for version one, but Space Station lie in wait. Arsenal at back. Got the bounce on the corner, where it looks like Space Station is going to get something on the development. Version one, take it away. They see so much space for Space Station to take advantage of. Passing plays off the version one backboard. And inside the box, you get a little worried about version one. And their boost control especially. For Space Station to have that much space, their shape's not in form right now. And we're starting to see a bit of a drought for version one, and it's been a drought for Kam. He's now had seven straight games where he's had zero goals and zero assists, and Kam has been such a key part of the offense for V1. They need him to get into this. He's their Reynolds. He's the facilitator of this version one team, and if he's not doing that, if he's not having uh -oh. that quality, right here might get one for Beast Mode when he launches it high. Space Station covering every option. Where was Beast Mode supposed to go on the play? Daniel puts it back over to Arsenal. 
And version one, well, they're able to steady themselves on defense. The offense is lacking. And Space Station really throwing up a wall on the orange side. Version one, not creative enough to break down Space Station at the moment. Players packed inside the net. And version one, not even putting shots on target right now. Space Station unthreatened. Big shot right into beast mode. To get kicked off the play. Calm gets there just in time. Calm with the musty. Hoops it off his car. Oh, going to get on the board. Here he comes again. He's got boot to work with. Oh. A flip reset towards the net, but an easy save in the end for Rettles. And that has to be devastating for the psyche of version one. You finally think you're going to break down this defense and the drought, and then that shot doesn't go in. It was the perfect setup. Daniel trying to find the read, but comes just a little too hard off the ceiling. Rettles also, the attempted catch, pushed away. Version one have had some threatening counterattacks. They're trying to bump Arsenal out. They even delete him. Or Arsenal actually deleting Beast Mode on the play. And Arsenal trying to get that ball back. Reynolds swinging around, avoids Beast Mode, and gets the dunk. Space Station doing well again. Third's protected. None of these hard hits are working for version one on offense. Beast Mode is going to try some control again. He got the 50, but second man on the opposite side of the rotation for version one. And Daniel deletes him. Back, a nice little soft pass from version one. Really feeling the rhythm of the pitch right now. Conducting a well-oiled defense against version one. Space Station singing a song. They're all in tune right now. Defensively, nothing version one is doing is breaking that wall. Rettles inside the midfield, just breaking up version one every single time they try and attack the net. Beast mode shut down again. Now time's against them. Oh, this one a bit oh, oh, The oh. comes out, and no one's there to finish it. Ten seconds off of the clock. Oh, Space Station's bowling. Version one off the ball. Oh, and Arsenal fighting for it. And now version one back the other way. Nothing there for version one. Around the corner. Com scoops it, but he's got no boost. He's got Beast mode a torment waiting. No good. Space Station have tied the series. What a look for Space Station. They didn't put up as much numbers as they did in the previous game, but defensively, they were in an absolute wall here against version one. And I still need to see how this game happened. How, how that shot didn't go in, Calm was making the play. It looked like it was a routine goal for beast mode, and it just didn't go in. And then Space Station, you even saw Daniel now, interestingly enough, starting to get demos on Calm in his own half. And one came at the perfect time because it was a rebound out. Calm was the player who would have had to take the shot, but Daniel came through with the demo. You can see in our Mobile One high performance replay, so many saves coming out from both sides. This one, Burt Beast oh. mode off the crossbar and Torment just didn't get there and Space Station what work they put in defensively here in game four to tie up this series. I feel like Torment thought that uh, Daniel was going to get to the ball first. Yeah. It looked like he was reading the dunk, but he actually had him beat on the play. So the, uh, the slight misread on it, something Torment is usually uh, excellent in consistency at reading the game. This is what would have been the one chance for version one to tie it up. And, and, uh, and uh, for beast mode, we've seen him hit so many good shots to put that one off the crossbar. That needed to go in. That needed to go in for version one. And now we've got version one taking the timeout. They have to get situated. The timeout for Space Station worked wonders. <laughs> and now we're going to have to see how it'll work out for version one. I'm thinking back to that Space Station demo when Beast Mode hit it off the backboard. The net was open. Yeah. And they delete the guy who would have shot the tying goal. Yep. Man, everything clicking for it, Space Station. It's truly clicking from the, the aggression standpoint. We knew this was going to be Smash Mouth Rocket League. Two players, two teams going head to head getting aggressive, and it's been working now for Space Station when version one was able to dodge that those first two games. Now, they're falling victim to it. And I've been watching the cameras on the players and on Fireburner in particular. They slow down a little bit here as I start talking about it, but he has been nothing but talking to his players ever since that game. The second the ball hit the ground, he's had something to say, kind of commanding that space on his team and letting them know what they need to do. 
And they're going to have to come up with something a little different here because right now Space Station, I said they were they were writing a song, they were singing it on the field, and it was just everything that were, they were doing with intention. You know, top hits from Space Station Gaming, that seems <laughs> like it's got a good ring to it. I feel like, you know, we need an album cover somewhere for that one. But Space Station, now one away from putting the series on match point. It started off so well for version one. And you thought maybe this series was going to hit a little different for them. But Space Station always got something to say. They're trying to weave their way around Torment at the start of game five. Space Station getting started on defense. Maybe actually version one getting control of the ball. See Space Station taking their time. I want to just give away possession. Oh, wow. Maybe even generate the 50 in front. Get this one in front of the box. It always looks so scary. They don't immediately commit to the 50. They don't immediately dive into the ball. They really want to force version one to commit to the yep. play, get them to use their dodges early to get the advantage on the 50. And we've even seen them force out a couple double commits even early. Now we're seeing Daniel. Can he make this solo play happen? Oh. But that's what's so frustrating about Space Station is they force you to make a move. Yeah. And they force you to move out of your position. You want to stay comfortable on your side or behind the ball, but they force you to come after it to make you make a decision. Version 1 have stopped a few pushes here. Space Station as well. Calm. A little bit of control in the corner. Space Station wait for his touch, but he's around one. Doesn't bump the second. That's Rettles avoiding him on the play. Who's been more effective in the physical game overall, more effective overall for Space Station. Again, defended beast mode, forced off the ball. Which one are really trying here? They're keeping the ball locked in the orange half, but they keep getting forced to the corners. And that's credit the Space Station's rotation, cutting off a lot of options in front of the box, even right there. It's the version one second man, hoping that 50 comes straight down, instead it pops out. And you even saw Torment there trying to get a bump on Arsenal, but Arsenal says, oh, that's my game, I know how to get around it. Reynolds looking for Arsenal. Well, just a lot of boost on the play. He'll take version one. Daniel with the catch. Just trying to win the 50. Comp just flipping without the boost. It gave Beast Mode a chance at this ball, but he's also out of boost. Torment on small pads. Version one can use this time to get boost back in the tank. They do, but oh. here comes Space Station with the first touch. And oh. a dunk right in front of the box. Beast Mode has to handle it, and he does. And has to use up all his boost to get that ball out. This is still not looking good for version one. Space Danger Map on the ropes. Lots of boost here for Arsenal. So he's just keeping version one honest there in the corner. Beast Mode finally able to break out for version one. And with no boost, he's not going to go very far. Space Station a little slow on that one. Still able to find Arsenal downfield. Beast Mode pushing it out. He's going to let Calm take this ball. Daniel trying to find the rebound. Here comes Calm underneath, and it's too wide. Arsenal gets there anyway. Version one. Can they keep pushing? Beast Mode has to wait for the touch. Arsenal gets the 50. He does bump Reynolds behind him. And Space Station trying to stack bodies in the corner. They get a clear. A breakout downfield. Shot. Is it good? Whoa. No, it's wide. Beast Mode puts it off. Some good looks from Space Station. It's all oh. threatening oh. here as Arsenal plays it across the box. Oh. Back across. And Torbis now making saves to the right side oh. of the post. Version 1 stand tall. But it might not be over yet as Space Station trying to get back around and then Version 1 finally break out. Oh, Version 1's knees are looking a little bit wobbly. The one more hit and they might go down. The bump. Goal! Version 1 flipping Feeling so much pressure from Space Station, <laughs> but Calm knocking Arsenal out of the way, winning that battle, and version one on the board first. And Calm finally gets that assist, not only credit on the scoreboard, but that bump, that was crucial to getting that goal. Huge play from Calm. Calm will put that one on the assist board. Drops it down, Rettles scoops it up over the side wall. He's got a winger, can he find him? Connection! Reynolds and Arsenal linking up, and that's the second time we've seen a pass or a shot like that from Reynolds. So much space to work with, and what a fantastic pass. And, and, and beautiful control, beautiful first touch from Reynolds to dribble that up the 
walls, take it off the ceiling, save the flip, and put a dime right over to Arsenal. Reynolds is playing inspired Rocket League. Version one bandaging up the wounds from game number four and coming right back into the ring to smack Space Station back. Daniel, Arsenal and Reynolds looking for a way back in. Tormek. Not getting to the ball first. That's a good challenge for Beast Mode. He got it! He's got it! Beast Mode again! He's a bit of a problem for Space Station here in this series. Once again, a double tap, making it look like it's free oh, play out here. Made it look so easy. You even saw him actually put his boost towards the ball to slow himself down so that he could have a proper read on that ball. So fluid, so seamlessly. So beautifully done by Beast Mode, a gorgeous shot. I don't think anyone has any questions about Beast Mode's crop performance at this point. <laughs> he has been excellent for version one. He's been a threat even in the games that version one haven't been able to get around Space Station. He's had threatening opportunities even in those games. Now Space Station have to respond. They get to the blue in the corner. Arsenal's reads no good. Beast Mode gets the clear. And now Space Station gotta do it in the air. Daniel downfield. Daniel, Whoa. no one from Space Station can get to it. Version one, take it to match point. One more for version one. And another thrilling victory for them. And who's the man on top? Beast, Beast mode. mode. Two 100%. goals, three shots for version one, leading his team to a win here. And to hit a goal like that, with the stakes being what they are. Sometimes it takes an immense amount of pressure to form a diamond, and Beast Mode is looking like a 20-carat diamond out there. A gorgeous, gorgeous shot Valuable. and a huge moment. And you have to reset the stage here when you look back at how many times these teams have played each other. Version 1 is not favored in this matchup. This is a, a very few times that they are on an opportunity to beat Space Station game, and they're two and four against Space Station overall in series. They played them six times and only beat them twice. In the last two times, they faced off on land. They lost. They lost in the Winter Major in Los Angeles. They lost in the wild card. And so when you're in these environments, that matters. You know, you, we talk about the land buff all the time. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like Space Station Gaming had the land buff more so than version one. But in this series, it's been different. And you know what's been different? It's just been beast mode. Beast mode, but you got to give credit to Calm. Calm picking up a big demo, getting the bump, or not even a demo, he just got the bump. And, and the also assist. getting the assist. Yeah, and ended that drought. He wasn't able to do that in the rest of the series. Big difference maker for version one. And we head to Neo Tokyo. Space Station ripped the ball at the start. They're going to need some magic here in game six. Daniel, with no boost, will do what he can. And Arsenal following underneath. He actually gets the boost steal. Now they got to defend version one's count. A storied map here in Neo Tokyo. So many great games have been played here at game six of a series. Version one trying to close it out. They don't want to see Champions Field. They want to move on here out of this lower bracket. And it might be Beast Mode to do just that. He's entered primal mode. Beast Mode cannot be stopped in this series. Calm delivers the dime. Beast Mode delivers the pay. And he saw both of those defenders streaking near Post knew he had to put it far post, and Beast Mode did not disappoint. Now Kong pushing forward. Push the ball by one. Daniel looking for the counterattack. Arsenal looking for the pump. It did force Beast Mode into an awkward spot. Shot to nine. Beast Mode jumping quickly for the save. It's been a quiet game, quiet series at times for Daniel. It's been a lot of rattles. He stepped up, and he might step up here again. Threatening the net, Daniel trying to come up big in the corner, but Beast Mode there to clear it away. It's easy to forget that this is Daniel's rookie season. He's been such an integral part of the success for Space Station. They need his magic now. He's only had two goals so far in the entire series. Daniel. And he come awake as Beast Mode has for version one. It's pushed downfield. Reynolds and Daniel trying to work, but how much they can do waiting for version one. Now Torment with the initial push.
just getting the touch out. Daniel kicks it downfield, hoping to catch him out on the demo. Arsenal taking Torment out on the play. Jason. He's taking out Beast Mode on the play. Here comes Space Station with two touches, but the spawn for Com. Wow. And Beast Mode gets the ball downfield. What a recovery from version one. They were down two players there, Reynolds and Arsenal getting demos. And they get out of a tough spot with Space Station breathing down their neck. Beast Mode wants to blast this one off the backboard. Reynolds there to receive. Reynolds wins a big 50 in his own third. Now he has to re torment. He can't. But Arsenal is ready. Kicks it up once. Able to hit Calm out of the way. But Beast Mode with a pre flip. And he pushed out. Needed enough here from Space Station. Or version 1 have been developing a lot more pressure than Space Station have been able to. And even there can't even get off of a version one call. And you saw Arsenal making his sweep through the back line, didn't connect on any bumps or demos. Version one starting to have success dodging. 50. Reynolds has to expend a little bit of boost here. Made up for it with some pads. Oh, and Beast Mode had him red all day. Daniel has to expend the entire tank just to get back to the ball, and another 50 doesn't work out. Space Station not getting their game plan going. We saw that early on in the series when they came back into it. It seems like version one doing a better job in the challenge game in particular. You see Beast Mode going in that one tough. Daniel taking out Kong. And Space Station champs come out. They're going to need their fans. We've been talking about it all series long, how much they feed off of the crowd. So this one comes into the box and all of version one there to turn it away. Reynolds happy that midfield boost spawned right as he walked over it. Drove over it, if you will. Now finding Arsenal, but Arsenal, no touch for him. Reynolds gets the 50. Daniel no! flies in. Goal! He may be small, but he's coming up big here for Space Station. This one bouncing straight back down to him, and he puts it perfectly in the corner. Torment doesn't do the in and out save fast enough, and we're all tied up with a minute and a half to play. With Space Station season on the line, the rookie comes through. They need one more here. Now version one, forced to respond. Calm with the aerial fake. Beast mode underneath. Two commit from Space Station, but the clear's good enough. Torment whips it back around. He's got Beast mode downfield. He's already oh. jumped, but just missed him on the connection. The pre-jump was almost perfect there for Beast mode, just behind the play. Space Station kind of scrambling to get this one out. Beast mode again with full boost, trying to get back behind it. A good flip reset. Oh, that's two going though. Could be a brief numbers advantage here. Arsenal trying to make the play. You saw the flip reset. Now Daniel pressuring. But it's taken away by Calm. Reynolds forced to pop up. The rest of Space Station were rotating back. Calm's going to get a free ball. He's still got some boost. But the 50 back to Torment. Torment playing oh. control. Gets another 50 to the corner. Beast Mode had to wait. And he's still waiting as he gets bumped off the play. Still gets a touch out. But now it's up to Reynolds. Daniel Tom's getting bumped. Touch. Reynolds couldn't find the connection on the rebound, and Beast Mode finds Calm, rips it on target. You can see the physical game again now back the other way from Calm, returning the favor. He was getting bumped just a moment ago. Less than 30 to play, still tied. Space Station trying to threaten Arsenal. here. Arsenal's got the drop down. Oh, oh Torment. big touch from Torment. Denies once again. Oh, Calm, the patience. He didn't have any Beast boost. Mode. Here he comes. Beast Mode wants more. Two touches in front. Torment pulls off Calm a little too close, but he's got Beast Mode again. Oh. Beast Mode couldn't recover. Calm, he couldn't recover. Beast Mode. Nobody's gonna be there for version one. Playing it safe. Tom steals the boost. Torment steals the ball. Oh my god, misses the ball. Torment! Oh, what a save! They gotta get it on the ground. He's got boom and play. Zero second drill for version one. Beast mode. Another touch. That's gonna do it. We're in OT. Woo! If you're Space Station, you're taking a big sigh of relief. Version one threatening so many times. And now Beast Mode right off the kickoff. Tries to get through one. Space Station struggling here on defense lane. And this next goal represents everything you've been working for all season oh, long. Beast oh. Mode leaves it for a teammate, but it wasn't meant to be. Still on the far side. Space Station on the counter, gets pushed out by Torment. Version 1 have been able to thrive, but can they put Space Station down? The shot denied! 